Hey, what's up? It's Schnell. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video, once again, if you are a patron, for one, thank you, because today's video is brought to you by you, and for having such disgusting taste in death metal, we're going to be going over Crushed by Rotting today. One of Canada's finest mid-90s slabs of death metal. When you're this heavy, they call you rotting. Now, during like 95, 96 in Canada, obviously you have Cryptopsy, none so vile. In 1995, you had Gore Lust with Rain of Lunacy. A total gem right here. And then. Rotting crush. Holy shit. Speed, brutality, just. Hey, I, what else do you need? If you dig, like I said, mid to mid 90s Canadian death metal. But also, United Guttural Records. Originally uh, released this. I, I really like Corey Arnold's vocals. Like, I think he sounds sick. But the guitar work on here is insane. Like, like there's so many catchy, sick riffs, and like they they never overstay their welcome. Like, rotting, no, when it's like, all right, like, I, they show restraint in a genre that is really hard to show restraint in, because a lot of bands just go balls to the wall, but rotting really go in with the songwriting and instead of just like giving you a straight up slab of death metal, it's like whoa, this sounds like a bunch of different like countries like stylings and whatnot. and that's one of the things that to me makes Canadian death metal so important is that it borrows from other scenes and created its own awesome scenes that continues to this day. I'm sorry, I gotta try to not show the cover art, obviously. This was recorded at Sonic Pineapple Studios. New Market, Ontario, Canada, in 1996. Like, the song titles, great. Lyrics, great. And again, the vocals, I love them. I think they're just... Part of, it's what I want when I'm listening to death metal. But, sexually tortured, Christian castration. Laid to rest, evil eye, blood, guts, soul burn, in vain, let them bleed, and unholy penetration. So good. Like, every song. Yeah. 
Piss your pants. <laughs> I know a movie uh, this is from. Piss your pants. <laughs> said, piss your pants. If you have never seen Last House on the Left, uh, you, don't, you don't really need to see it. But, uh, you know, it's pretty fucked up, though. It's, you know, it's a gnarly movie. Uh, the remake's terrible. The original, I remember, like, when I watched it, everybody was like, it's the scariest movie. And I remember being like, what's so scary about it? And then, like, when I got older and I started, re I was like, oh, like, the realism of the situation is what's scary. Like, these girls going to a concert, getting kidnapped, and the horrific shit that follows, and then when the tides get turned and it just becomes a revenge flick, oh my goodness. Like, again, it's one of those movies, like, the first time I saw it, I was just like, what the? Like, because I didn't get it. Like, because I was thinking, like, this is going to be, like, Cannibal Holocaust times a thousand. Like, I, I was, on, I don't know why, I was expecting, like, an Italian level of, like, gore and, like, just gnarliness. Because it, it's Wes Craven, and it's Wes Craven's first film, and for a long time, it was kind of hard around where I live to get a copy of it. So, like, when I finally got a copy of, Jesus Christ. Last House on the Left, uh, like, I remember we all got together to, like, watch it and stuff, and we all were just, like, okay. Like, it, it was, again, like, at first it didn't really hit me the way, like, but, like, when everything started, like, I was like, Oh, like that whole, oh, like, yeah, then, like, after a rewatch and understanding everything else, it became like, oh, shit, like, this is a total, like, revenge, like, th like this is sick shit, and it's awesome, and, like, just, these people, uh, I mean, it, it's a horrific film, but it's great that, you know, the bad guys... And bad guys, bad girls, they get what they deserve. And that's it's one of the few films that, like, you know, kind of... Like, I don't want to say, like... Because Joe is a completely different type of film with Peter Doyle. Uh, Joe... Like, part... I don't know if they want you to sympathize, like, sympathize with Joe. If you don't know what movie I'm talking about, don't worry. I'm just rambling, kind of. But Joe is one of those movies, again, where you have a completely like, reprehensible character that is kind of, like, you're meant to feel a little bit bad for, kind of. Like, Joe is just a little behind the times, He, you know, but... When they go on that hippie killing spree, it's just like... Because, like, when the dude admits that he murdered his daughter's hippie boyfriend, Joe's like... Yo, you, you, you wanna... You kill hippies? And, like, they, they go on, like, a hippie killing spree. <laughs> yeah, if you've never seen Joe with Peter Doyle... Joe is gnarly, but I'm just, it's not for everybody. But, uh, side A, 16 minutes and 46 seconds. Side B, 16 minutes and 5 seconds. 10 tracks, legitimately, some of Canada's finest, crushed, crushing death metal from rotting. Again, the cover art. So good. And, yeah, Rotting. Great reissue on Dissonant 
tapes pit riff zero eight six windowless pro tape really like how they kept the color like same color as the logo and shit super super sick and again if you go to this time period in Canadian extreme music because um, there is a kind of more obscure release I want to I just want to make sure the year is okay 97 so again like 95 96 97 hidden pride with brutal advice this is another one like, this is one that's up there legitimately, like, as much as I love None So Vile, Rod and Crushed, Gore Lust, Reign of Lunacy, yo. I don't think a lot of people even know how good this band is. Hidden Pride, Brutal Advice is, like, yeah. I had this on vinyl and cassette for a reason. It's so, so fucking good. Corpse Gristle did this reissue. And again, just ridiculous Canadian death metal from the mid to late 90s. Because this was recorded November and December 1996. But just... Like, at first, I was like, whoa, is that Lord Worm? And then I, I realized it wasn't. But great record reissue on Corpse Gristle, Burning Dogma. Like, I'm just trying to show you folks that Canada had a really sick, brutal death metal scene. And, uh, yeah, it shouldn't really be slept on. Like, I know a lot of people stick with, like, the New York and, uh, like, Texas death metal. And then that, that's fine. I'm just throwing it out there that there's a whole scene in Canada that's just got some of the gnarliest shit that kind of gets slept on in the grand scheme of death metal stuff. And I consider Rotting Crushed not really one of those releases, but kind of. Like, if you know, you know. But I know not everybody knows about Rod and Crushed. So hopefully today's video turns some of you on to this 10-track monstrosity of nasty, brutal Canadian death metal. Thanks for watching. As always, you fucking rule infernal hails and gratitude. Peace. Right.